What's up guys, it's Nighty here, and honestly, this pack drop here was quite underrated, because today we got insane signature series packs with three Luka Doncic's, three D-Robs, two Rudy Gay's, and like, all those guys are insane. Luka Doncic's release is something I've never seen before. It really is unbelievable. And like, the new anime set was really cool. Um, how much is Luka? Like, yeah, 500, it looks like 600k. D-Rob is looking like the best center in the game. <clears throat> Excuse me, and Dinwiddie actually looks like a really nice card here. Might do a gameplay on him later, but I think everybody knows, like, one of the cards in this set is actually insane, and that is this Hito Turkoglu. Now, I really want the signed version, because the signed version has half handles for days compared to gold, but the other, the signed signature series, like... It's a lot more expensive. This card, his value is crazy. He is so cheap. 10,000 MT. I mean, give me that. That's insane. Not like half handles for days to gold handles for days. Like, yes, there's quite a, a difference, but like, uh, handles for days on gold is still fine for now. I'll probably get a sign one later on. I mean, Knowing how good he is, he probably comes in as my backup small forward, but I don't know. Hito Turklu, though, I mean, 6 foot 10, 99 offense, 95 defense. Like, his stats on offense are just unbelievable. Like, 93 three ball, very solid post game, uh, 85 driving dunk, 80 standing, 90 ball handling, solid defense, uh, good rebounding, really fast with good lateral. He's got uh, 54 total badges, 12 on half. Uh, half cut and shoot corner specialist dimer blinders limitless spot up downhill and quick first step dead eye sniper like what is 2k doing here uh post spin ankle breaker hyper drive on gold he's got clamps interceptor intimidator circus threes bailout handles for days the one on the this signature series one or signed signature series one has half handles for days which is a huge badge to have so that is why I would probably go for the um, signed one, but for now we're just doing the one on the normal. Um, and then his tendencies, how are they looking? Um, okay, his on ball steal tendency is not great, and his contest shots, fine. So all around looks like a really solid card. Now in previous cards, uh, previous cards of his, he's had base 11, which is one of the worst releases in the game. It was one of the best, now it's one of the worst. They made it 111, which is a release I've never seen before. But he is huge. Uh, the reason why uh, I do apologize for not having much energy in this video. Um, I have had the worst experience playing Limited this weekend. It's the worst requirement probably all year. But his release is super easy to green. It looks like, um, what is that? Uh, Sean Elliott's release a little bit. It looks like it, but it doesn't feel like it. This release is so nice. Can you shoot from the corners? Yeah, it looks like it. It's I've never used this release before, but I think I can get the timing down. Yeah, looks like Hito's coming into the team. It's really crazy. Um, but like shifty dribble style, I think that's Harden behind the back. It's really 2K's juicing out Hito Turkoglu. Um, he really is insane. I mean, he got a post game. He's got a post hook. He's got a three ball. That's very good. He can shoot from like here. He's got half range. This card, he is one of the best. Also the normal leaner. We all know DBG with his normal leaners with Hito. Yeah. It's looking like he's going to be one of the better budget cards in the game for sure. So let's green a three, or that's a leaner. Let's green a normal one. Uh, come on. Really? I can't green this. This is, there we go. Now we'll head into a game. But yeah, man, this card is really good. I, I actually, I should sound way more <laughs> enthusiastic right now. I just, I'm tired and it, it was, not fun playing limited. I still don't have my ring. I've played like five games, and you you can only use current series. This is the team I have to use. Like these two guys aren't like these three guys aren't awful, and the rest just suck. So 
yeah, it, it is tough out here. But let's go into clutch time. We'll take out Tatum for now. Put in Hito. Uh, Cassie, yep, yep, yep. This. All right, we've got a matchup here. I see Rafer Alston. Uh, okay. Looks like he got lucky. Should be a blowout, but you never know. Uh, Rafer Alston. That is a vault reward. And I don't know if you know this, but on Twitter, there's this guy. I forget his name. He literally has every single RNG reward except for... I think he got he's like Louis Dampier maybe. I forget his name on Twitter, but he literally is every single RNG award. That's the only time I've seen Ray for Alston. I think he's like a bigger AI though. Um, but let's see how we're gonna move here with uh, Hito. Should be a pretty fast card, and he got him. Oh man, they patched the dunk stick. You don't hit anything anymore with a dunk stick. That's not going in. I literally just crossed up Darius Miles. He is fast. All right. Give it up to Thurl Bailey for the wide open three. Good start. <sighs> I think when you don't have posterizer, really, you can't finish anything with the stick. That's not. That's a foul? How? In what world is that a foul? Like, are you kidding me? I mean, he's going to hit both of these free throws if he's any competent, but really. That was a dumb call right there. All right, get it up to Hito and call an ISO. Oh, he's got he's got Rafer on me. Oh, let's see this jumper. Come on, he's no, no good defense. You're not finishing that. He really brought a double team. Oh, wide, wide open that jumper. It's so good. That jumper is insane. Is he putting in settings? All right. Um, maybe he's competent. Come on. Yep, you're not hitting a three with Tom Chambers. That's not going in. Get the rebound, and we're running. We are running here, Hito. Oh, step back. Step back early. Oh, man, I got to green that. That's a very greenable shot. All right, come on. Oh, that's a steal. I'm shooting terribly right now. Oh, stop. Pop. Green. Cassie Russell is just so good. You cannot guard him. You cannot guard Cassie Russell. Shoot that. Wow. Oh, good shot. He greened that. You know what? Good for him. Only a, what, three-point game? Oh, what the hell? Uh, looking like a gameplay of Cassie Russell, but he just left him wide open. I mean, I'm going to take that every single day. Okay, you know what? Anthony Mora might have become Steph Curry. Come on, I, what is this defense? I'm gonna take these shots every day. Three points, three assists. I need to start scoring more with Hito. This guy's defense sucks. His offense isn't even that bad. Like I just suck at defense. Get it to Hito though. Come on. He's bringing a double. Oh, he's running his own. That is why. I'm literally going to do this every single day. Four assists for Hito. It looks like we're not going to be scoring much with Hito this game. Uh, I'll probably do a game of Triple Threat online after if we could get rebounds as we get a steal there, as he almost gets a steal back. Oh, gosh. All right. Hito, you got to score here. He went into his zone. He doesn't know how to use it. So we're going to have a wide open Hito Turklu right, right here. Right there. Not missing that. That release is one of the best in the game for a budget card because you know, I'm not missing with it it's really it's super super easy to green as that's a seven all right I'm not gonna on ball I'm not gonna ball handle with um Hito because he's just gonna help off corner like I can just do that all day it's it's actually very similar timing to 29 now that I think about it it looks like it and it's very similar timing I feel like and you won't get as many um load ups with this release so yeah, and he's playing good defense, too. This Hito is legit. Kazzy. I actually don't want it to Kazzy. I know I had the open three, but I'm going to win this game. Step back. Can I hit that? No, no, no. That's a force. That is a forced shot. Steal. I'm sorry. What was that animation? That's charge. What? Oh, wow. This guy is bailed. All right. 
I see you, 2K. So, um, come on. Uh, come on. Dunk? No way. No, yeah, that was not gonna happen. Alright, um, let me stop taking bad shots. Sorry if there's noise in the background. There's stuff going on. That's not a good shot. This, this cam card is really good. He's like, what is this dude's defense? That's a terrible, that is just terrible right there. Alright, let's not get cold here. Um... And he's fouling. Oh my gosh, this dude is so bad. He really is. I need to score more than nine points with Hito, I think. We gotta get another bucket here. Get him in double digits. I mean, he does, what, how many assists? Four assists? So I think he's either scored or assisted on almost all the buckets here in this game, but I don't know what this guy's deal is. Like, he doesn't look like he's the worst player. Like, he's going for baits, but... I don't know. Let's check out his free throw release, though. Uh, it looks, yeah, pretty average one right there. 10, 2, and 4. It's actually a good stat line. He can facilitate the ball. He can move with the ball. He can shoot it. His release is insane. Hito's back. There's always a point in 2K now where Hito just becomes trash, and then he comes back to becoming a good card. So, Hito, don't foul. Please, Hito, move. Oh, get the dunk. Easy dunk right there. And yeah, I'm not comfortable using the stick with him. But, um, as that's probably a good shot. Alright, go. Hito, let's get one more bucket. Oh, let's get the four. Let's get that four pointer. Let's go. We got take. We actually have time for another shot. So we have half range. Let's see what we can do with that. I'll let him shoot. I don't care. He, he hit that. Okay. Let's see, can we pull it from half? Let's see how far. Oh, oh, Hito, step back. Step, that was a very early. Okay, that was not the greatest shot I could have taken. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. No, okay. Timeout, timeout. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> I'm such a bad for it. I just want to see how far out he can shoot from. Please, he's going to be inbounding it, yeah. That was, and I had the timeout. Why not get one more three to end it here? Hit that. Okay. Well, that was pretty useless there. You know, Turkoglu, like his box score, shot five for 11, but he had 17 points, four assists, two rebounds, had four um, threes, but like he was facilitating the ball. He was handling it. He was playing some defense. This card is legit. Uh, we did play a pretty full game there, so I'm not going to go into another um, one here. But let's try the camp method. If you don't know, um, this is the method I used to get camp waiting 40 times. So I think this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Oh, I thought I was I was going right towards camp, but yeah, I mean that's how I got camp. I mean it really doesn't do anything, but it was fun to try. This Hito Turkoglu card for ten k is probably the best budget card in the game, and I, you know what, I really don't think it's particularly close. In my opinion, this is the best budget card in the game. Like. You could say Bonga. Yes, Bonga's fantastic. He's my backup point guard. This Hito Turkoglu uh, is unbelievable. He is unbelievable. Like, the fact that he can just move so well with an insane release and, like, his defense is competent, he is really, really good. Like, I recommend. Like, I'm probably going to pick up his signature series. I don't know how much it is. Like, I'd spend, like, 25k on his signature series. I think it's that good. So later today, you're probably going to see a um, Corver and Dinwiddie gameplay, and then that should probably do it. Let's see before we end this video. I'm going to try and land this on a 15k snipe. If I can get this one for like 15, that would be nice. Okay, we successfully bid on it. If we can get that for 15, that would actually be really good. Um, yeah. Come on, 48 seconds. How we look? We're looking good. 
This one, if you don't know, I said it earlier in the video, has Hall of Fame handles for days, which is an insane badge. This card, I need his, I need his signature series signed. Because having Hall of Fame handles for days is really good. Um, like, I'd sp a 5k more on a handles for days. Okay, someone's at 12.7. All right. Oh, no, no, no. All right. 16 and a half. We'll put, that's it. I'm not going any more than that. Uh, you know what? You know, I am going to go more than that. 18 that's it really i'm really spending 18k on a pink diamond now am i gonna get it for 18 did we end up getting it and we did i don't know if that that was probably a terrible idea right there i don't even know if he's 18k if he isn't then that is quite an l right there but let me sell this other one and yeah i'm just gonna end the video there so it's not too long so Please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.